What's up, JoJo in the morning family? I hope you are ready to have a powerful time together. I hope you're ready to have a powerful day because that's exactly what we're going to talk about. I'm going to talk to you about the immense power of God. I think one of the biggest problems I see in believers is they do not realize how much power and authority that they actually carry because they're children of God. You know, when we accept Jesus and we're filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit wraps around us, the Holy Spirit carries the power of God from heaven. So many people, they live like they're defeated. They, they live like God is nowhere near us, that, we, that the scriptures really don't apply for today. And they don't understand that the majority of things they're going through, that they could command the word of God, they could command the scripture and the power of the scripture, and they could see things absolutely changed and shifted in their lives. We have to understand that we don't have to walk in sickness and disease and fear and insecurity and poverty. We don't have to walk in any of that. Because we can find a scripture for every promise that God has to lift us forward and to move us into the greater things that God has. We got to understand that immense power. What does that mean? Massive power, colossal power, strengthening power from God. So many people, when they pray, they, they pray scared, they, they pray small, they don't believe big. So let's dive into some scripture. Let's go to Ephesians 6 and 10. It says, Now, my beloved ones, I have saved these most important truths for the last. Be supernaturally infused with strength through your life union with the Lord Jesus. I want you to think about this. The scripture wants you to be supernaturally infused. That means the strength of Christ Jesus is flowing through you. And it says, stand victorious with the explosive power flowing through you. Explosive power. You carry the explosive power of God in your life. You've got the power of to cast out demons. You've got the power to just do away with sickness and disease in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that you have power over all scorpions, ooh, over all nasty crawling things. You got supernatural power and you carry that explosive force of Christ Jesus in you. We have that power. Now the problem is most people don't walk in it. So when God gives you a powerful prophetic word, you got to understand, you know, when you were a kid, stand up straight, head up, back straight, chest out, straight ahead. You got to walk in that power and declare and decree things into existence hindrances, roadblocks, hurdles. You got to declare and decree that they move in the name of Jesus. And you start prophesying over your future and you will see things start to take shape. And see, you will see a prophetic word in your, in your spirit, in your soul, and in your mind. And when you stay the course, you're going to hold it in your hands. Another scripture, Ephesians 1 18 through 20. I pray that the light of God will illuminate the eyes of your imagination. Think about that. That God wants your imagination in him to be a dreamer, to, to be able to see what God has for you in the future, a prophetic word of what's coming. He, he, he wants you to be able to see everything that he has. That's why he, the, the Bible is all about dreams and visions and prophetic words. And then it says, flooding you with light until you experience the full revelation of the hope 
of his calling. Not what you want to do, but his calling. And it says that is the wealth of God's glorious inheritance that he finds in us, his holy ones. God has supernatural inheritance for you. That's just not finances. That's insight, clarity, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace. That's the life you can live with him. And then it says, then your lives will be an advertisement of this immense power as it works through us. Okay? God wants to show you great and mighty things. And then he wants this immense power to be in you, first of all, but to flow through you to bring transitions everywhere that you go to shift atmospheres wherever you go, speak things into existence, see things light up according to the will of God. All right, it says, this is the mighty power that was released when God raised Christ from the dead and exalted him to the place of highest honor and supreme authority in the heavenly realm. Where's that place at? Jesus Christ, right now, is sitting at the right hand of the Father, interceding for you and I. You ever thought about, what, what's he praying? If Jesus is interceding for you and I right now, what, what is he praying? That you and I would carry out the full calling that God has on our life. That we would walk in the fullness of the heavenly realm and manifest it on the earthly realm. I can't tell you how many people tell me, all the time people tell me this. I know there's more to life than this. I know God has called me to do more. I know I should be doing other things, but I don't know what. That's when you tap into the Holy Spirit. And the fullness of God will, through his power, expand your imagination, give you Holy Ghost boldness, and you will start to move forward in the things that he has for you. And when you do that, everything will start to shift in your life because you're standing not by yourself, but you're standing with a union in Jesus Christ, and then you will walk in that union and you will carry out the power, explosive power that you have. The same resurrection power that raised Christ from the dead is in you. So what are you going to bring to life? What dead dream are you going to bring to life? How many people are you going to lay hands on and see them walk in complete health? Divine purpose. You carry that. Don't hide what God has given you. Don't be afraid of the power of God. When God has given you something great, Walk in the boldness that he's given you. Walk in his power. I want you to think about all the amazing visions and dreams and the prophetic destiny that God has given you. Why aren't we stewarding it? Why aren't we carrying it out? Where along the way have we believed a lie from the enemy to think that we can't carry out the very purpose that God has for us? My friends, I just want to speak life and blessing over you today. And I want to tell you to carry out that calling. Walk in the power of the Lord. Start shifting things with your voice. Let your faith arise. God's got a lot for you. And you're more powerful because you're hidden in Christ. You're more powerful than you could ever imagine. Love y'all.